Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here with Newbie Drone, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use some of the functions inside the OSD menu of the Hummingbird flight controller. First thing to do is plug in your Hummingbird, grab your goggles, and we will get right into the OSD, guys. Once we're in our OSD menu, we can go to VTX, as you guys already saw in another video that I showed you. This is where you can change your band, your channel, and then your power for your VTX. But today we're gonna to focus on the OSD and FC and RX sections of the OSD menu. So first let's start with OSD, we'll go over into that. And then you can see we have voltage, RSSI, and name. So what this means is that's the voltage for your battery, your RSSI, which is the signal strength of your receiver antenna, and then your craft name. So what the numbers on the right side of them means is that's the position on the actual OSD screen. So I'll put a little diagram for you guys up on the screen right now, but basically uh, each number corresponds to a different position on the screen where you can place it. So without having like a graphical interface like Betaflight, this allows you to change the position of where these different values are on your screen. We kind of recommend you to use the default setup, but of course you're welcome to change it however you want. Once we exit this, we can go into the FC section, and in this section, this is where we can set our switches and our flight modes. So the first switch we're gonna be able to set is the arm, and then you can see on the other side of it, the right side, that's gonna be assigning what switch it is. So it starts off in aux one, which is gonna be the first switch you set, and then you can see to the right of it, there's an H. So that means high position, and then if I go to the left, you're gonna see it goes to M, which is the medium position, and then if I go again, it goes to L, which is the low position. So this is based off of a three position switch. You can also go to other aux switches. If you just scroll through, it goes to aux two, and then there's low, medium, high as well, and then you can keep going to aux three, and so on and so on. Then you have altitude mode. We're gonna leave that off. Then you have uh, level mode. So this is the mode that I fly in. This is like the ultimate racing you know, kind of angle mode that I highly suggest everyone use for racing. Right now it's set to aux two, which would be like my second switch in the low position, but I want it to just be on all the time. So not only can you set it to a certain switch and the switch position, but if we keep scrolling all the way back, you can set it so it's just on all the time. So no matter what, it's always on that. And then in this race mode, I actually want to set that off because I only like to use uh, level mode. I'm gonna set that to off. And then the same thing with the horizon flying mode. I'm gonna set that to off as well. But if you guys wanna have all three, you can just go and scroll and set it to whatever aux channel and then position you want as well. And then down under that, you have the name. So this is your craft name. You can customize this to say anything you want. So if you scroll over, you'll see the cursor goes under each individual letter. And then to change each letter, you simply scroll up or down and that will change it. And then after you're done with that, you can go back go to exit, and then you'd simply scroll all the way to the bottom, hit save and exit, and then you can see now I've changed it to IMG bird because I didn't change it to H at the end. And then last but not least, we can go down to the RX section, and this has all your endpoints for your different channels and your switches. So for example, the first one is roll, the center point is 1047, if I put it to the left, which is the low point, it's gonna be 226, and then the high point is gonna be 1811. So this will help you out if you need help centering or setting up the trims in your radio for each channel or the switches. So that was a quick look at using the OSD menu in the new Hummingbird flight controller. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.